Hello everyone. Today I will discuss to you regarding the auto search. Um, today I encounter a problem where the auto search is not showing the the, the complete uh, result of the search. So how you have to troubleshoot that one? Of course you have to open the Outlook and here on the Outlook um, go to the search bar in my demonstration this is blank because there is no email on this one but this is the same procedure so showing there are a lot of emails here so to check that one we have to check first the index status so to check the index status we have to click on the search bar and go to the search tools and click the indexing status so we can see here that the auto has finished indexing all of your items so zero items remain remaining to be indexed so that means your indexing status is very good so no no pending so the search should be okay so that is the first criteria that you have to check if the indexing status is okay then the search should be good otherwise if if that was the, the st in this indexing status it was good but still the search output it's not uh, complete so we have to check something else so see, this, is, this is the first step uh, and the second step is to go to the search options to go to the search option it's here also other than this one for example you have the older version it should be from the file under this option here and go to the search under is indexing options okay so we will change the properties of our OST file the OST file is the uh, what you call the, the, the cache file of the Outlook. So instead, uh, your Outlook is um, always uh, is directly connected to the server. For if it is cache, um, your Outlook will save the emails based on the number of. Uh, months that you have assigned so for example there are 12 months so it will cache for 12 months so whatever the recent 12 months will be cached here so the, i will show you what is that caching so in the caching we have to click on the file and account settings account settings again so on your um, on your settings this one was thick so that means this is an offline setting so use cache exchange mode to download the emails to an outlook data files or that with what that what we call as the ost file so it will be downloaded so it will be more faster if it is in cache because the the files are already available on your local computer for example the the recent one year uh, items of your email has been saved al already here on your computer as an out outlook data file so you can adjust this one like you have to make it two years and so on but the longer the years you have to uh, the, the the files will be bigger also so assuming that this is cash in one year so here you can see on the data files because that is a data files so if we're going to check this one there is an OST file right on the last uh, here it will show that OST so that is the the data file of the outlook so how we will check that one it's here on the on your profile I can see users whatever per app data local uh, Microsoft and outlook your your data file is here so the the bigger cache cache uh, settings this one will become bigger so uh, the longer you use also your outlook 
this will also increment so every day okay so the second thing after we check the index uh, status the second thing is we have to exclude first the wait we have to go to the options and search um, we have to exclude this one so, so that we can change the settings of that file so to exclude this one we have to click the modify and untick this one okay so okay okay so that means that that file that the outlook data file is not included now in the indexing so we, re we temporarily remove it from here so that we can change the properties of that file so we will go to that file itself so to go to that file it's either there are two ways here on the outlook 36 file so here we can uh, directly go here and go to i uh, know not not from here sorry so it is only one way what i'm saying was the the search option but it's not the search option so click on the file then um, account settings then data files then open file location so here we have to close first the outlook so that file is completely detached from the outlook so once you close the outlook actually so this file is completely detached so you have to right click here and properties so this is the second step go to advance and tick this one so on the file attributes we have to tick this one allow this file to have the contents index in addition to file properties so this will improve the indexing of your file that it will not miss some files which cannot be uh, but it will be included on the on the searching so we have to simply tick this one and click ok and apply so once that is tick you have to go back to the indexing option so we have to open again the outlook Okay, so once you open the Outlook, click the indexing option. So in the search option, we have to, we can click here on the search, then search tools. You can go there, here on the indexing options. Other than that, you have to click file and options, uh, search indexing options, it's the same thing. So we have to put back, after we tick that one, we have to put back the uh, Microsoft Outlook so that it will be included again in the indexing. Okay, okay. So now it's coming back here. Close. And close. And we have to close again the, the outlook and open it again so that it will take effect whatever we made changes.
okay so we will check again the index it should be encoded right because we already put it to the block so that's fine so we'll check again the status yeah uh, here zero items remaining to be indexed so actually in this demonstration we don't have any files here so obviously it will always say that it has zero but on the real thing like in the real mailbox it will re-index again after we did the changes of the setting so it will do that like for example 100 items remaining to be indexed so we have to wait again that it will become zero items so once it is zero items you have to check again the search it should um, solve the issue the, the the outlook search issue otherwise if still it is not um, resolved the search issue is not resolved so you have to go to the okay to the search uh, option again and we have to go here in the advanced just one sec So after you click the advance, this is the next uh, uh, window. So if the, the first settings that we did, it didn't resolve the issue, then this is the final one. You have to click the rebuild. So it will delete and rebuild the index again. So that should uh, solve the outlook search issue if the outlook search is not efficient so this is the only way to, to solve it uh, that's all thank you i hope this is informative for you and thank you for watching and please subscribe this channel thank you